Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. They discuss a number of issues of common interest. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized his personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend a musical concert organized at Bahrain National Theater by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA. The concert was attended by ministers, ambassadors, senior officials, and invitees. On arrival, the national anthem was played. Then Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa headed to Bahrain National Theatre's Hall where the concert started. The BACA President Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa gave a speech in which he extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for patronizing the concert, which reflects the Bahraini people's allegiance to the leadership. She also thanked the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa lauding his interest in supporting efforts to boost the kingdom's civilizational and cultural achievements. She also thanked artist Khalid al-Sheikh and all the other participating artists in the concert for their creative art which showcases the kingdom's rich cultural heritage and highlights Bahrain's accomplishments under the leadership of His Majesty the King. ما زال جلجا مش في البحار جرح اغنيه ونبته الخلود لا تزال في القلوب هاجسا وامنيه في ذي الموم الغراب لا ينعق والشمس لا تغيب والديوك لا تصيح يا غاليتي العجوز لا تنبغ عجزها والشيخ لا يبكي صباه يا حبيبتي ولا ينوح منشد اذا تغنى في حماك The concert featured national songs and beautiful shows which demonstrate high patriotism and social cohesion. The concert also underlined Bahrain's rich civilizational and cultural heritage from the Dilmun civilization to the era of His Majesty the King. At the end of the concert, Sheikh Abdullah greeted the participating artists, the organizers and the guests of the kingdom who were invited to the concert. In honor of her efforts to, rather, to promote the cultural movement in Bahrain and the region, the Sultan bin Ali al Awais Foundation granted the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Cultural and Scientific Achievement Award during the closing ceremony of the 16th session prize distribution ceremony, which was held in Dubai. 
Sheikh Hamei delivered a speech where she thanked the foundation for the honor and affirmed that this honor is a recognition of the Bahraini cultural achievement, which promotes the civilizational and human elements that the countries possess, which deserve to be preserved and introduced to the world so that the region can regain its influential cultural role. She praised the foundation's efforts in enriching the cultural atmosphere in the UAE and its tangible efforts in supporting joint Arab cultural work, stressing that it became, has become an essential aspect in sustainable development processes as it is relied upon in the infrastructure of all cities seeking to achieve global status. Under the patronage of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Isa Town Club organized a march from Khalifa Stadium to the club's headquarters as part of the National Day celebrations. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. As part of the National Day festivities, Hisa Town Club organized a march from Khalifa Stadium to the club's headquarters with a classical band playing traditional music, joined with Hisa Town residents, Bahrain Scooter Club, some schools and families. They were all marching and singing with pride, celebrating the National Day. A participation from Isa Town to participate with all Bahraini to celebrate the National Day. Actually, December came with a lot of happiness. Uh, the first came from uh, our guys and our national team uh, after uh, won the GCC Cup. Since that day till now, to, till today, 20th of December, and I'm expecting the celebration is going to be extended till end of this month. It's a Bahrain National Day. The whole Bahrain is out, and uh, it's, the, it's the 48th of the National Day of Bahrain, and it's, it's just a great feeling. Bahrain's National Day is a day of happiness where all segments of society and different age groups express their patriotism, pride, and love to their nation. Celebrations aren't only on the 16th of December, they extend to the end of December, which is full of festivities in celebration of the special occasion. It feels good to be marching with the Bahraini flag and singing or saying national music. And this is the way how I ex express my love to my kingdom. I love Bahrain from all my heart. At the end point of the march, many aspects of the Bahraini culture were celebrated, such as traditional dance. Such occasions reflect Bahrain's national unity and rock-solid social fabric. On a National Day March from Khalifa Stadium to Aisa Town Club, we enjoy different aspects of the Bahraini culture, national music and patriotism of its people, all singing for the love of Bahrain. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Malaysia held a ceremony celebrating the kingdom's national holidays. The ceremony was attended by guests of honor, Malaysian Minister of Primary Industries who represented the Malaysian government, the Kuala Lumpur Police Chief, in addition to heads of diplomatic missions in Malaysia, members of the diplomatic corps, as well as several senior officials and businessmen. The charge to affairs of the embassy, Maram Anwar al Saleh, expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion. She highlighted the Kingdom's achievements in various fields, noting its growing cooperation with Malaysia at all levels. She also expressed thanks and appreciation for the attendees for their participation in the Embassy's celebration. <laughs> 